Hi folks, welcome to the Prepared Homestead. This is Travis. Thank you all for stopping by to watch. Looks like a, another fairly cool day here in the Ozarks. Kind of starting to feel like that fall has finally really set in. You know, it kind of goes back and forth. And, and while I'm sure we'll probably still have some warm days ahead, it does look like that fall is kind of set in. In fact, they're talking about uh, the end of next week, possibly seeing some white stuff fall from the sky. Um, also, uh, you know, have talked a few times that we went from the, the really dry, big wildfires to a week later, we had massive flooding, destructive flooding rain. Well, even though the ground is not necessarily dry, it's still wet, um, all the grass and the leaves and stuff are drying out because the sun and the, and the breeze. And so now we've got uh, high wildfire dangers again this weekend. So it's, it's the good old pendulum swinging back and forth. Um, what I want to say to you today may trigger some of you <clears throat> initially. A lot of times, you know, we hear something, the, the first few words or few phrases, and it sounds like it's going in a certain direction, it triggers us. And I, I want to ask that you just hear me out because I, I'm not here to criticize um, Donald Trump. I'm not here to criticize current, you know, the new administration coming in or anything like that. I just want to point out some things that's happening that we need to be very well aware of. Um, a, a, a situation that is being set up that's honestly, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be honest with you, much bigger than I thought it would be if Donald Trump, you know, way back before the election, you know, trying to analyze, okay, if Kamala wins, this is possibly what will happen. If Trump wins, this is possibly, this is way bigger than what I thought. And in a lot of ways, it's good. And I'll openly admit that. What I'm talking about is what people are referring to as this dream team that he's building. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> you know, there's like uh, Matt Gates, Attorney General, um, putting Elon Musk and uh, Ramasamy on this government efficiency thing that he's doing. Uh, let's see, who else? I was trying to, uh, uh, Christy Nome up in South Dakota. Uh, she's going to be on that. She's one of the, I can't remember exactly the position she's, she's taken. Um, uh, the guy, he's Indian, uh, Kash, Kash Patel, I think, uh, FBI director. I, I mean, it's just, it's shocking. Um, I, based on Trump's, that, that was the, that was my biggest complaint with Trump's first administration. It wasn't so much of Donald Trump. It was the people he chose to be around him the people he chose to work for him. And while certainly there's several of these people that look like rhinos and people that have foreign connections that I do not like, um, just on the surface, as far as them being much more to the right-leaning conservative than any of the others before them, I, I'm, I'm surprised. Now, <clears throat> there's, there's, a, there's a problem, though. Oh, I know, I know, there always is. His administration appears to be going so far to the right, so far away from a globalist type government that the pushback is gonna be greater. You have to understand folks, I mean, think about it. Uh, we have been on the defense for years, even really through Donald Trump's first presidency. Not, maybe not necessarily because of him, but because of government bureaucracy that's just tried to tear everything down. Now it's going to appear that we are not on the de defense. The, the conservative right is not on the defense, but the liberals, which haven't been on the defense in a very, very long time. Uh, and if you think that they're just going to roll over and say, oh, well, we didn't just lose this one, we lost the biggest one. And we're gonna watch, watch this, this massive rush of traditional conservative, you know, Christian values just, you know, rush through our nation and they're just going to take it. The military industrial complex, the, the banking system, the corporate, corporate, corporations, corporations. <laughs> Goodness, my tongue's not awake yet. Um, need some more coffee. <clears throat> if you think that they're just going to, just going to roll over and, and just take it, I, I think you're sadly mistaken. Um, while it's very possible, I mean, I'm still, I'm still holding back. I'm still making sure that I'm, I'm not going to get caught up in all the 
wow, this is amazing. It's, it's the most exciting thing that's ever happened. Like we're just going to win and win with the biggest W ever. And because, um, one part, one thing you could say, it's kind of going, looks like it could go two different, one of two different ways. One way is, is that all this talk, the rumors, the whispers, the conspiracies that most of us have kind of rolled our eyes and said, oh, okay, no, nah, nah, yeah, probably not. Um, is this Noah Hyde law, um, conspiracy, rumor, whatever you want to call it, um, Oh, that's too extreme. Oh, that, that's not going to happen. That's so far to the, to the right extreme that it's like to the right of Hitler. And, you know, oh, it's, it's just too, it's too crazy and blah, blah, blah. It's, I mean, the, the people that's being put in that, that, that would go so far to the right that it's probably too far. Uh, that's possible. Uh, the other thing is, is that it could all just cause such a, a massive rubber band effect. Like I said, where the the left is just not going to roll over and take this. They're not going to lay down. They're, they could. Uh, I personally think that the the more, more likely option is to cause just massive disruptions. You know, the, the the top tier people can cause wars. You know, the military industrial complex and things like that. That you know they could get out there and start wars. But on the lower levels, just general disruptions in the country. Um, terrorist attacks, you know, acts of violence, uh, disruptions to utility systems. Um, all this kind of stuff could easily happen. And, you know, I'm at a place because I was thinking about this and kind of playing that stuff out in my head. <clears throat> if Trump does this, puts this, this kind of administration together, and they go through and they really, really start cleaning house like they all claim that they will do, once, you know, January 20th happens and they're all in power. So let's play this out. Let's say that happens. Let's say the Department of Education goes away. Let's say that the FBI starts, you know, getting cleaned up and, and cleaned out and everything. CIA, ATF, you know, all this kind of stuff. All these things that for years we've said, and even the conservatives won't even listen to. But let's just say that it all happens. And there's no pushback, no real pushback. I mean, like the political pushback, but no real pushback. You know, nothing happens. It's just like, wow, that was, a, that was an easier win than the election. Doesn't that in itself become very suspicious? You know, like, so is there, is there some other plan? You know, let's make everyone think that we're going so far to this conservative right um, that... You know, they believe it's all good when it's it's bad. You know, I, I know here lately I've talked a lot about kind of end times and beast system. But I want you to think of this. The Bible talks about Satan and the Antichrist uh, and the beast system as a false version of Messiah. Okay? It's a, it's a false copy. You know, it's kind of like looking in a mirror, right? It's, it's a reverse false image of it. So would that mean that the beast system, the Antichrist, you know, it's Satan's little kingdom that he's, you know, planning on building, do you think that that's going to be debauchery? Do you think that's going to be just sheer evilness? Or would it look like it's good? I mean, if it's a false image of it, wouldn't it look like that it's good? Wouldn't it look like that it's holy? Wouldn't it look like that it's, it's from God? I, I mean... That's how I always took it, and maybe that's not how it is. That, that's just that was always my interpretation of it. If it's like I said, there's there's two options. If all this stuff that they're talking about will happen, Trump and his team, there's either going to be one of the biggest, most massive pushbacks and and just disruptions and chaos than we've probably ever seen, because there's never been a time. In American history, and, and probably not a time in, in human history, but there's been such a radical pendulum swing from the extreme extremes far on one side to the extreme extreme far on the other side. And so we're either going to see this, like I said, a massive rubber band effect, just crazy stuff in the coming weeks and months. Or... It's just going to be this real smooth pendulum swing over to the very far right. And um, then that 
could very actually mean worse things that that maybe this is all planned maybe this is all the way because th there's no way that <clears throat> and i'm not talking about the the people that make the ridiculous videos you know the women i'm gonna shave my hair and i'm not going to you know sleep with a man for the next four years and i'm gonna wear my you know blue bracelets and you know I i'm not talking about them i'm talking about the higher levels i'm talking about the people that are that are pushing things you know the obamas and the clintons and and the soroses and and, and all of these folks do, do you think that they're just gonna they're just gonna not do anything they're gonna just go away because if they do if they if they just kind of lay down and give up then to me it's not that it's given up it's that's the full the full plan must have kind of taken effect i know some of this may sound confusing I'm probably not explaining it in the best way that I should. And some of you just probably think I'm some lunatic out here, which that's kind of common anyways. But I really want you to be thinking about this. I mean, this, this, is, this is starting to look way more radical. You know, the first appointments, the first announcements of appointments from the Trump uh, campaign, there were some rhinos in there and there were some people. It's like, I don't know about that person. I guess it's, they, they, you know, it's better than what we'd have with Kamala, but certainly not great. But man, here lately, it's just been one right after another after another of, you know, possibly the most far right leaning conservatives out there. Um, and. And then, and then they, there was talk last night. I saw some posts, and, and I don't know how true this is, but it, it was coming from fairly solid sources that it's being talked about in the Trump campaign um, or the new administration, whatever you call it, that when it comes to these appointments, because, you know, these appointments, cabinet-level positions and stuff, they have to be approved by Congress. And, and, well, the Republicans now control both houses of Congress, but... You know, there's still a lot of deep rhinos and stuff like that. And so would some of these people actually get approved, you know, by Congress? And so the, the what's being talked about in the Trump camp is that uh, under was it, Article 2, Section 3 of the Constitution, uh, that he would cause an emergency recess and send them all home. And under the Constitution, when Congress is in recess, he can go ahead and do emergency appointments of these people to go ahead and get them into power. I mean, if, if these things happen, this is radical stuff. I mean, this is like a, a hostile takeover of our government, but it's, it's for the conservative side, right? You know, we, we, we always thought that it was going to be the far left Marxist liberals are going to do this hostile takeover of the government. And in fact, it's, it's the far right conservative is what it looks like. And either way you shake this tree, whether it's, it truly is a far right conservative and then we have to deal with all the pushback or it's this appearance of this false, you know, conservative, this false image of, of good things. Either way, um, I, it, it's almost, I'd say it's almost more dangerous than if Kamala had gotten it. Because at least if Kamala got it elected and put all her stuff in, it, you would see it, right? You see it on the surface. You know what you're getting, right? You, you know that it's going to be far, far left. You see it coming. They're just out in the open because they'd brag about, you know, oh, we're going to make it legal to mutilate children. You know, it, they, they just, it's out there in the open. This, I mean, it appears really, really good. But there's no way that there's not going to be pushback. No way. And if there isn't, then I, it, it's probably not really good that what's happening. Anyways, I, I, I hope some of you understood what I was trying to get to. Uh, maybe not everyone just thought I was a lunatic and unsubscribed, but I think it's something we should definitely be be cautious of because it, it, this is some crazy stuff going on, folks. It's, it's beyond whatever I what I thought would ever happen, and um, and we have to be ready because. It's it's going so far to to the other side that uh, there's bound to be some some type of pushback and and that could be quite violent. It's time to get your houses in order, folks. Prepare yourselves mentally, physically, and spiritually. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.